Hello, this is Dr. Gackman here selling some more items on eBay. I guess I'm calling this a Hanna-Barbera collection as I was moving stuff around, making room for things. Uh, I found random Hanna-Barbera collectibles, um, stuffed animals, t-shirt, and uh, some other stuff, a keychain. Um, most notable, of course, is going to be the Scooby-Doo stuff, but first I'll go with probably what's the oldest, which is my Smurfs. This is just a regular generic Smurf, and then there's a smaller Smurf. It's about Smurf size, if I do Smurf myself, or say so my Smurf, whatever. Anyway, this one doesn't have a tag. They're both a little, little dirty, but you could probably clean them in a pillowcase, uh, gentle cold wash, and they should turn out bright and pretty. Um, can't really read the tag, but this says, I was one year old when this came out. And uh, it's a really cool tag because it's not, you know, something that fades over time. It was actually sewn. This stuff was sewn in there. Uh, made in Korea, of course. But um, it's, um, it's uh, official. 1979. So I would say that they're both probably from 1979. Um, I don't think that this was anybody that I could recognize from this. I mean, it wasn't definitely not Smurfette or Papa Smurf uh, or Smarty Smurf or whatever. This was probably the dumb one or just a regular generic Smurf in the background or something. Same with this little guy. So there's the Smurfs. Uh, then um, move on to the Flintstones here. Uh, I think these were meant to be erasers, these two guys. Uh, they came in, uh, I guess, like Cocoa Pebbles or Fruity Pebbles cereal, post cereals. Um, uh, but then, like, they're drawn there, and, I mean, I tried to use them as an eraser, and it didn't really work. Um, it doesn't really say what they are on there, but... Uh, oh, no, wait a minute, this says, yeah, 1987... Hanna-Barbera Pictures. Well, HBP, I imagine that's what that means. Um, and it's Fred and Barney. A uh, little bit marked up, but, you know, from 1987, it's they're pretty good condition, I guess, for whatever the heck they're supposed to be. Um, this is a, a, a Demetrodon, but he had a goofy face, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, is this from Flintstones? And so I'm just throwing that in there. Um... I collected a lot of dinosaur stuff when I was a kid, and um, this did not fit my other Demetrodons that I had, which were, like, realistic. This one's very cartoony. Got a smiley face on there and all that stuff. It's kind of funny. They put both eyes on this side, and you turn around, and you can see the half of the smile, but no eyes on that side. It's kind of funny, cute, in a way. Um, and then, meeting with the new uh, popular... Thing that's coming out now, the Justin Timberlake and all of them, is uh, Yogi Bear. Um, kind of looks like Justin Timberlake with a the hat there. But no, his face is drawn on. This was from 1980, and its tag is still uh, pretty. Um, it's a Mighty Star. That's what they did back then. They had all kinds of different things, but it was this was Hanna Barbera Productions, um, made in Korea as well. Uh, these were basically felt things. Um, this was before they had plushies. It's in between a plushie and a stuffed animal, I guess. Um, his face is kind of drawn on there. Um, but still, for how old it is, 1980? What is that? Uh, 100 years old? I don't know. Um, it's still pretty good condition. Um, his little, the felt is a little bent here on the tie. Everyone, so every once in a while it kind of um, goes where it doesn't where you don't want it to. but um, And then that leaves us with the uh, Scooby-Doo stuff. This, I don't know if it was a factory reject because it looked like it had a light bulb in there, but there's no button to press or anything like that. You know, usually you would put a light on a keychain. This is from 2000. This was right around when Cartoon Network was starting to get really, really big and Warner Brothers. Um, uh, this was in the Warner Brothers store, I think. That's why it has Warner Brothers on the back there, and this is also, you know, Cartoon Network, which is partly owned by Warner Brothers. So, but for the most part, uh, most of the cartoons that they played on there were Hanna Barbera cartoons. 
This is Scooby and Shaggy, of course. Uh, another thing that makes me think that this is some kind of factory reject is, like, Shaggy's shagadelic beard. It just looks completely wrong. But, um, it's still cute, and it's still, uh, I didn't use it that much. It's a little dusty, because I did have it on display. And I didn't use it as a keychain. I kept the, uh, little tag on here, too. So, bam. Collectible. Whatever. Uh, and this was a part of this, uh, the Warner Brothers closed things. So when Looney Tunes started doing their thing, Warner Brothers started doing their thing, too. Uh, well, that's all Warner Brothers, I guess. But, uh, Hanna-Barbera, I should say, uh, had their own. It was Zoinks wear. This was official Oneida. Um, it's a uh, Shaggy. It's a uh, SH. I don't know what the H is supposed to stand for, but Shaggy something or other. I don't know. Zoinks wear, they call it. And then on the back, it's pretty cool. I had a pair of green pants that went with this. Kind of funny, but it's got a Shaggy. Zoinks! There you go. So you got a uh, Hey Boo Boo. You got a. Uh, Yogi Bear and the Smurfs, and you got Flintstones, and you got, this was from 1997, this was even before the, uh, that stuff kind of got big, I guess, um, in 2000, it's kind of like when they, uh, I don't know, maybe it was before then, because it was, I was still in high school, I guess, when they started doing all that stuff, but I'd wear this, and people would call me Shaggy, and, because I kind of look like them, but, in a way, wouldn't shave and all that stuff and shagadelic hair but uh yeah this is all part of a collection I'm selling my childhood here uh the shirt i believe is like a large yeah it says large grande whatever um so it should fit uh an adult um so so uh, happy bidding and uh, thank you for watching.